Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite beading threads. We've got a lot of different brands to choose from at ArtBeats.com so I just wanted to give you an overview of what brands I like to use when seed beading and how to use those different brands in different ways. So let's dive into some of the best beading threads around. When it comes to beading thread, there are several choices, and all of these choices can be used for stringing seed beads and other small beads, and for loom and off-loom bead weaving and bead embroidery. Let's start with the nylon thread options. There's silamide nylon thread, which is a good all-around nylon thread and is popular for its range of colors. It's used primarily for bead weaving. Nymo waxed nylon thread is another good all-around thread. It's lightly waxed and is easy to thread and resists twisting and knotting. KO is another great Japanese beading thread option. This is a strong nylon beading thread. It is tangle and fray resistant and it comes in a lot of different colors so you can match the color of your thread to your project. Uh, bead weaving projects have a soft fluid feel when done with this thread. Another favorite that I like to work with in the nylon thread category is Toho 1G. This is another Japanese beading thread. It is made specifically for bead weaving, specifically for bead weaving with Toho seed beads. So it comes in a lot of colors that will match your Toho seed beads. It's a great option for looming, stringing. It's strong but not stiff. It's easy to thread and shred and fray resistant. It's treated with an anti-tangle agent, so it doesn't require waxing, and I just love working with this thread. And another great thing is it comes on different spool uh, sizes, so whether you need a little or a lot, there's a spool for you and there's a color for you too. Another great nylon thread option is Hana beading thread. This is a 100% pre-waxed nylon and it comes in unique and vibrant colors. Look at how bright those are. They're beautiful. Um, it can be used in weaving, loomed projects, and bead embroidery. I love the bright colors that this thread is available in. Miyuki beading thread is another nylon option. It's 100% nylon made in Japan. And again, this beading thread comes in lots of great colors that you can use with your Miyuki Delicas and other seed beads. Um, lots of great colors available to match to whatever project you are um, working on. So another great color option. With so many options, you're sure to find the perfect color for your projects. We also have polyester thread options. Miyuki bead crochet thread is a polyester option. It is designed specifically for bead crochet. It is resin treated to ensure that it does not come undone while you work. And it comes on fun multicolored spools. So it would work well for other bead weaving projects. Um, it's just some, such fun uh, variegated colors on those spools. I think this would be a great option for thread wrapping. We also have braided thread options. Fireline is a strong pre-waxed beading thread and it comes in a variety of diameters and a couple different color options. Smoke is that black color. Crystal will give you that white color. So nice basic options that will work with your light and dark color palettes. This is a great one that I like to use when working with crystal beads because it is a strong braided thread. Um, the edges of your crystal beads aren't gonna cut through through your cords. This is a really great strong option uh, when bead weaving with crystals. Other braided options are Beadsmith Power Pro braided thread. That's a strong flexible beading thread. Pre-waxed and fray resistant, you can knot it as well. We also have Miyuki Duraline beading thread. That's a strong and flexible white beading thread made from 100% polyethylene. It's one of the strongest fiber cords per diameter, so you really don't have to worry about beads cutting the thread on that one. Bonded threads, we have Beetle on Wildfire. It has a thermally bonded coated and it is strong, waterproof, fray and pierce resistant and it doesn't stretch. So this is another great one that comes in a variety of diameters. Super strong bead weaving thread, um, can't be pierced with a needer, needle. It's ideal for stringing toho and other seed beads. So another great beading thread option. 
I did also want to show examples for how beading thread kind of blends into projects and how it can stand out and why um, choosing the right beading thread for your project is so important. So for this project, we want our beading thread to blend in. There are parts of this project where the beading thread might peek through. You'll see it on the edges there and where these seed beads pop out. So I chose a nice red color that would blend in with my design and makes the whole look seamless. So the thread, the thread doesn't stand out too much, which is exactly what we want for this project. For this project, the beading thread kind of becomes part of the design because it is wrapped around this leather, you can kind of see it. So it makes a nice contrast on the leather. So for this project, we chose a lighter blue color, but you could contrast it even more for an interesting design choice, maybe use like an orange color or one of those really vibrant HANA beading thread colors. So that's another design choice with the beading thread. I mentioned thread wrapping earlier, and that's a great option, especially with those HANA beading thread colors, which is what was used here. You can do some thread wrapping on leather cords and other fibers to give a pop of beautiful color to your jewelry designs. So that's another option when choosing beading thread. Super fun little bright pops of color with the thread wrapping. Of course, if you're doing any kind of embroidery, bead embroidery, or just traditional embroidery, the color of your beading thread is going to matter. So for this little art piece, um, we did do some bead embroidery and some just straight embroidery with just thread um, to create some fun, colorful patterns. Um, so different colors of thread were used here, and it was very intentional, the color choices. So as you can see, there are lots of options for beading threads when starting your projects. Um, these options are some of my favorites and they'll certainly get you started creating high quality jewelry you can be proud of. Make sure to shop all of our options at artbeads.com. Um, there's something out there for everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Let me know your favorite beading thread brands and uh, let me know what you'd like to see next. And if you have any questions, please leave a like and a comment. We always love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you again so much and I will see you next time. Bye.